three. Well done, you've got to the end of your very first week back after the half term. And today, we will be returning to our Key Stage 1 English SAT Buster reading book. So if you haven't got it, hit pause on the video and make sure you get it ready. But before our learning today, I've got my big superstar shout out. My first one is to Cade. Hi, Cade. Cade, you have written me an amazing party list. And by the sounds of it, what you've included in your party lists, I would really like to attend. So I hope I get an invite. And my next one is to Brick. Hi, Brick. Brick, you wrote some fantastic question sentences on your whiteboard and you use a question mark in every single sentence. So well done. Are you ready to warm your brains up? So today we have Clayton the Clown and Clayton needs to find his balloons. His balloons have got real words on them. Can you spot Clayton's balloons? So do you remember the other day when we helped Pirate Pete to find the real treasure with the real words on? We're going to help Clayton the Clown to find his real balloons today with the real words on. So let's say these words together, big voices. Scout, spray, spray, chill, chill, treat, treat, rout, rout, louder, louder, big, big. Oh, I heard some words that aren't real. Then did you? I wonder which ones you found. So what you will need, you three, is your whiteboard and your whiteboard pen. So if you haven't got them, hit pause on the video and go and get them. And what you are going to do is you are going to write me every single word that are on these balloons. And you've only got seven words to write. Okay, so I have written two of the words for an example. I have written Scout. Now is scout a real word? Scout? Yes, scout is a real word. Some of you may be in the scouts when you're older, so I'm going to give that a tick. Chill. Chill. That's a not a real word, is it? So I'm going to give that a big cross. So you are going to write all of these words, give them a tick if they are real, and give them a cross if they are not. Okay, so off you go. Okay, I hope your brains are nice and warmed up now, year three. So let's read our learning question together for Friday, the 26th of February. Are you ready? Can I use my own knowledge to answer comprehension questions? So I know that my own knowledge is when I know something. When you're in the classroom, you put your hand up if you know something because you have the knowledge to answer the question. Now, this is a big fancy word, okay? Comprehension questions. Now, a comprehension question involves you looking at a text. So, you know that a text is like a story, like in our reading booklets. And the questions are asking if you really understand the text. If you have read that text and you understand what you have read, okay, so that you can comprehend it. And that is what comprehension is. So can you use your knowledge to understand a text? Right, you three, make sure that you have got your reading books ready and that you have a sharpened pencil ready to answer your questions. Now before we move on, can I remind everybody that we must start our sentences with what? We must start them with a capital letter. Well done if you got that right. So if I was starting my sentence with the, I'm not going to write it like this, am I? What would I start my sentence with? A capital letter. And I know that my capital T looks like this. So a big well done to Cade because Cade, you've really improved with that. Well done. And then what do we end our sentences with? There's that very important piece of inf um, punctuation. It's a full stop. Okay. So when you finish your sentence, think to yourself, have I finished with a full stop? Okay. So today we are actually going to skip quite a few pages in our reading book and we are going to skip ahead to page numbers okay, 17 
and 18. Okay, so hit pause on the video and find those pages 17 and 18 for me now. Okay, we are going to start on page number 17 today. And it says comprehension questions. Now, now I know that that means that I've got to use my own knowledge and to read the text and to see if I understand the text properly. Okay, and today it's all about the circus year three. I love the circus and I hope you do too because it's really fun. Okay, so let's read our text together on page 17. And then I'm going to ask that you read the text on page 18 on your own because I know that you can do that. So let's read the text on this page to help us to answer our comprehension questions. Have you got your reading finger ready? What is a circus? A circus is a type of show. Many circuses travel from town to town and in each new town, a circus tent is put up. Every evening, the performers do their show in the tent and people from the town come to watch. After a few days, the circus moves on to another town. The performers often live in caravans and move with the show. So a caravan, before we move on, is like a little home that moves around on wheels. So they live in caravans, the performers do, because it means that they can move their houses easily. Okay, so let's look at question number one. What time of day do people go and watch the circus? Now I'm going to underline or highlight my most important words in this, so let's try it. So what time of day do people go and watch this circus? And I've got four options here for my answer and I need to circle one. The morning, midday, afternoon or evening. Now I'm going to see if I can see any of these words in my question in my text. Hmm. So what time of day do people go and watch the circus? The evening. Oh, well, if the performers, oh, probably find your answer in the middle text. Okay. Number two. Where do circus performers usually live? Tick one box. Oh, I think I know where they live because they have to move around quite a lot. So is it hotels, tents, caravans or houses? Okay, so hit pause on the video now so you can answer your questions on page 17. Okay, hopefully you have answered both questions one and two. So let's now move to page 18. And again, we have got some comprehension questions. So what I'm going to ask you to do now, year three, is to pause the video and you are going to carefully read the text on your own or with whoever is at home with you if you are struggling to read a bit, okay? But give it a good go. And this one's called The Big Top. I wonder what The Big Top is. Okay, I hope you've read that really carefully. So let's look at question number three together. What is a big top? Tick one box. So is it a hat, a tent, an act, or the show? So I'm probably going to look for the words big top in my text. Okay, another name for the circus tent is a big top, so I found my words there. I wonder if my answer is in that sentence. Okay, and question number four. What is the floor of the ring covered in? Circle the answer. So the most important word in this question is covered and floor. What is the floor of the ring covered in? Is it carpet, sawdust, books or curtains? Oh, I wonder what it is. Look back at your text and see if you can find the words floor or covered or covered and you will find your answer. A big well done for answering your questions there in your reading books year three. So, I know that a few of you will love a challenge, okay? So I'm going to give you one today. And it's quite 
quite a nice challenge because it involves you writing some sentences in your purple books, okay? So if you would like to do the challenge, which I, I hope you will, go and get your purple book and just hit pause on the video. Okay, so your challenge today, year three, is can you use these words in a sentence? And I've got four words here. Let's read them together. We've got circus, performers, tent and ring. What do you think my words are about? They are all about our text today, about our circus. And we've got some of our performers here. And we know the tent is where the circus is and the ring is where the performers perform the show. Okay, so I'm going to do the first sentence with you. So I've got to use the word circus. How could I use that in a sentence? Hmm. Well, I know I love going to the circus myself. So I might say, I, oh, I'm going to start my sentence. How am I going to start it? With what? A capital letter. So I love to go to the circus. And I'm using my neatest handwriting and I'm joining my letters up or trying my best to. I love to go to the circus. Now look at the spelling of circus. It starts with a curly curve, but it makes a sound. I love to go to the circus. Now, do you think I will end my sentence there? I love to go to the circus. That sentence is okay, but I'm sure I can expand it. I can make it longer. What could I use to expand my sentence? I could use a conjunction. Well done if you thought of that. I love to go to the circus because, and I'm going to tell them why, the reader why. Because, and remember, because is spelt like Big elephants can always understand small elephants. Because, oh, why do I like going to the circus? I love to go to the circus because I love lions. And sometimes you may find a lion at a circus because I, oh, I enjoy. I might put, I enjoy watching the animals oh watching what type of word is watching from your learning the other day is it a doing word am i doing something it is a verb watching the animals okay and what must i end my sentence in let's see if you get it a full stop well done if you did and i'm just going to read my sentence to make sure it makes sense I love to go to the circus because I enjoy watching the animals full stop. I think that makes sense, okay? So you've got four sentences to do in your purple book and I'm going to see who can impress me for their Friday learning, okay? And then I will see you next Monday for Monday's learning, okay? I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.